Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Chris Loves Comics. It's Monday, I hope you guys have found everything that you were looking for last week on New Comic Book Day on Wednesday. I always like to start off by saying thank you very much to all my new subscribers and to my old subscribers. It really does mean a lot to me that you guys stuck it out with me through this channel. And I'm sorry that it's been a while I've been uploading. It's uh, every other weekend I work Friday through Sunday and I work 12 hour shifts each day. So yeah, 36 hours in the span of three days definitely, um, definitely takes its toll on you <laughs> a little bit. But I do love my Mondays when I have off because I get to I get to talk with you guys. I had, um, you know it was a very very long weekend. You know not not in a bad sense. We got a lot of work done, which is always a good feeling. But whew, it's tiring. <laughs> but that out of the way, I'm going to be going over my books and I'm going to be going over my mail. Um, I got a lot of omnis and hardcovers. I'm going to be picking up uh, some more like of these themed. Uh, hardcover books. We'll we'll start off with we'll start with that before going into my haul. Giant size X Men Omni number one by Chris Claremont. These are all going to be by Chris Claremont. I'm going to try to collect as much of the hardcovers and omnis as humanly possible. I have this came in this morning. The Fall of the Mutants X Men. Uh, the Dark Phoenix Saga Volume number two. Really love that cover. I think that's art germ art germ art with the. Uh, with uh, Gene over there, and it's a it's a chunk, a chunky book. <laughs> and uh, next we have Phoenix Volume Number One, and then I got the hardcover of just because I really enjoy the cover Days of Future Past by um, with X Men. Like I said before, these are all Cla Chris Claremont books. And uh, yep, that was <laughs> that was the mail haul for this week. Now, for the books, I picked up for last week, uh, G.I. Joe, issue, issue number 305. Uh, this book has been solid. It's by um, Larry Hama, who I really enjoy his Wolverine run, and uh, the art is by Chris Mooney. Him, he, he's doing a fantastic job. Like I said, the, the, story, is, the story is okay. Um, I really love, really love the art. Really good job. Uh, the Chris Mooneyham on pencils is, is fantastic. It's it's a, like I said, it's a solid book. The story's not really sucking me in, but um, like the art's doing a lot of the heavy lifting. But I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it up. It was like a solid B B plus. Um, there's not really much substance to it, but you know it's I think they're still going with the. If you are a fan of GI Joe, there were there was never really any substance in the cartoon. It was just a, them Cobra and G, uh, GI Joe fighting each other. But you know it's great. It's great for what it is. And then you got Zartan escaping a uh, nuke that's being sent by um, Serpentor and Dr. Mindbender. Like, a, it was a solid B, this issue. Next up was an A-plus issue, Cobra Commander by Joshua uh, Williamson and Andrea Milani uh, on art. Uh, this this was a fantastic book. The Dreadnoughts have a Cobra, they have Cobra Commander, and they're trying to interrogate him to find out what he's doing in their swamp. Yeah. <laughs> They go a little bit extreme, and I really love this this version of Cobra Commander because in the cartoon he was kind of like wimpy, but in this one he kind of plays on the Dreadnought's paranoias and emotions when he's getting tied up. He's kind of like a sociopathic genius when I um, <laughs> like even when he's um, like losing pints of blood, he's still he's still able to uh, turn the uh, turn the Dreadnoughts against each other when he's being interviewed by Zorana. And they, she drew a smiley face on his mask, but uh, you find out the uh, someone does come to Cobra Commander's rescue. Now the guy in the previous issues that sort of like follows him around like a shadow. This is going to be a huge spoiler, so if you haven't read this, I recommend looking away for a little bit. All right, because you find out, and I will say this: GI Joe, I'm um, sorry, uh, Cobra Commander is definitely not for kids. You, um, you see the man, he's pulling off his face and pulling off his skin, his whole body. And you find out it is Nemesis Enforcer. This guy was one of my favorites um, when I watched the, the movie, the G.I. Joe, the movie with uh, Galobulus, Cobra Law and all that. Nemesis Enforcer is such a badass. And, when, <laughs> and then you just see like gunshots and you hear him um, laughing and, and just Cobra Commander looking stoically. He may be smiling behind that mask too. But this was definitely an A-plus book. This book, um, Joshua Williamson is doing a fantastic job with his uh, his mini. And it's unfortunate that it's mini series of Duke and Cobra Commander. Both are very, very good books. They're some of my favorites from my pull. 
Next up, and I'm sad to see this miniseries, um, there's two more issues after this. Beneath the Trees Where Nobody Sees, issue number four of six. Now, if you're new to the channel, if you're new to um, seeing this title, so this is kind of like a, a combination of Berenstein Bears meets Dexter. Um, you find out that this, this guy has been helping Sam, um, trying to follow in the footsteps of the serial killer. And when uh, Sam says, no, I don't want you to be part of my life, I don't want you to you know, follow my footsteps, there's only room in this town for one serial killer, but um, uh, the, the kid ends up killing uh, Sam's boss <laughs> from the hardware store. And uh, the town is cl the town's kind of closing in on Sam, and Sam decides to to leave, sort of regroup and find <laughs> find <coughs> excuse me find some shelter. This is definitely an A plus book. I'm, I've been really enjoying Beneath the Trees. Uh, next week is going to be a great week for comics. I'm really excited for Jeff Johns' universe from Image. Uh, I believe we're going to have a few books. We're going to have Rook Exodus. We're going to have Redcoat. Uh, which is sort of like a futuristic um, red coat from like the 1700s and in our time. So that's going to be interesting. And of course, the continuation of Geiger. Now, if you haven't read Geiger, the trade is out. I think it's six issues. And there's a, a couple of one shots with uh, Geiger. Geiger is a fantastic story. It's about a guy who tried to protect his family, but suffer, uh, while a radio, uh, sorry, a nuclear bomb came out and the fallout sort of consumed Geiger into like sort of a radioactive creature uh, but it's it's really well done I highly recommend it also next week is Void Rivals issue number 8 I'm really excited for that one as well but you know that's it for this week and I, I really appreciate you guys again uh, sticking it out with me I'm also going to put some of my friends in the comments down below please give them a, a like a listen a subscribe they're really great people and um, just like I said uh, great all great all around channels I, I really love them and I really love you guys for, for staying with me. All right? Have a great week, guys. I will be getting my books this Wednesday. I'll probably do a, a Thursday review of my books but because uh, I have Wednesday and... Uh, oops. I will not because I will be working Wednesday and Thursday. I'll have a review. I'll have a review for Friday or the weekend. All right? Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.